Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire by simple tips that they implement and proven strategies. So today I want to just ask you the question, have you ever wondered why you do the things that you do when you become afraid or fearful, especially within your relationship. We're going to talk about it right after this. So the things that we do when we become afraid or fearful within our relationships, I have five things that we will talk about today. So we're going to jump in right after this. All right, fam, of course, you guys have heard this a million and one times. The very first thing is because we have been hurt before. Yes, you start to clam up or you start to hold on tight, that clinginess, neediness, or maybe you even become like standoffish or cold, aloof. All of it is because you have been hurt before. And guess what? Ain't nobody about to get me like they got me before. And so... <laughs> that actually leads you into punishing the other person because of what said other person did to you previously. And even multiple people did to you previously. And so, no, I'm not fully letting that wall around my heart get broken down because I don't want it to be hurt again. Not realizing that you are hurting yourself in the long run by keeping that heart by keeping that heart closed in that wall surrounding it okay the second thing that we do in our relationships when we are afraid is that we continue to play the story over and over again in our heads or we tell people over and over again the same story that inner voice is now speaking to us constantly. So no, things won't get better. I am not worthy. He does hate me. She doesn't love me. She is using me. She is a gold digger. He just trying to trap me with a child. So nah, nah, we not having sex. Or I want a baby and he don't. So I'm going to poke these holes in that condom that we've been using because we use the pull-out method. I'm going to trap him. He ain't going nowhere. Or he going to love me. Mm. Did I hit home for any of you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you're scared of losing them. Or you're scared of losing her. So now I'm going to do something about it to make sure that they are a part of my life. They ain't going nowhere because I'm controlling the situation. So that inner voice is actually killing you. And that's what's controlling you, that inner voice. So no, I'm not going to be vulnerable. Mm -mm, they not, mm, nah, nah, I'm not letting them into my world like that. Been there, done that. And then you start to have this idea that everybody is the same, which of course we're not. But in your head, everybody is the same. All women do fill in the blank. All men do fill in the blank. And guess what? You start to attract the very thing that you focus on. And so when you start to attract and focus on all of the guys that just want to have sex with you, it's because that's what you're putting out there. That's what you believe. And so because you believe that, that's who you are attracting. All women are gold diggers. Guess what? They are all gold are. They are all gold diggers to you because that's who you keep attracting because that's what you keep focusing on. Or this relationship ain't going to work out anyway, but I'm going to go out here and do, yeah, okay, I'm going to go out here. I'm going to let down my guard. And then just as you are getting secure in the relationship, show the hell enough is over with. But you don't realize because you've been attracting and you've been putting it out there that this is not going to work out. So why are you surprised that it didn't work out? That's what you kept saying. 
You're creating your own reality by the words that you speak. That inner voice can terrorize and catastrophize your thoughts by distorting your reality. That inner voice is very powerful because we keep feeding it, keep feeding it, keep feeding it. The story is the same. The story is the same. The person is different each time, but the story is the same. You knew that it was going to happen or it wasn't going to happen or how it was going to happen. He was going to do this. She was going to do that. And they do just that. Another reason why we do the things that we do when we are afraid in relationships is our attachment patterns. Attachment patterns could be um, your avoidance, whether you're a person that avoids things, or you're very anxious about something. These are the patterns that you learned as children, and now they just continuously come up in your adulthood in your relationships. So it's your attachment patterns. Again, the attachment patterns are avoiding or avoidance and anxiousness or anxiety. Number five is sometimes we don't know what the underlying fear is. Actually, most of the time you don't realize what the underlying fear is and why you are reacting or even acting the way that you are acting toward a certain thing. You don't understand why when he said X, Y, and Z, it triggered that feeling in you. And a lot of times, until you get to the root of what that fear is, you will continuously do the same thing over and over again in each relationship. So until you catch what you are doing, that fearful thing, and you're able to pinpoint where it started, that fear is going to continue to plague you. It's going to continue to plague each relationship that you get into. It's going to continue to run amok within your mind as well. That fear is playing a part in that inner voice and what it is saying to you, how it is speaking to you, how it is showing up, and ultimately how it's making you show up. So these are five ways, five reasons why we do the things that we do when we are in a relationship and especially when we are fearful or afraid in that relationship. All right, fam, so let me know. Did I touch on anything that resonated with you that said, oh, damn, that's why I do that? I definitely want to know. Leave some comments down in the comment section below. I totally want to hear your story because the more that you speak about your thing, the more you release this, the more control you start to have back over your life, back over your relationships, and every relationship across the board. Yes, specifically your romantic one, but just your life relationships, your familiar relationships, your sibling relationships, your, um, your, your relationship with your parents, your relationship with your own children, right? All of these things intermingle, they're intertwined, they all go together. We try to separate and compartmentalize our relationships, not realizing that the thing that you're probably doing in your friendships and maybe you're even losing friends is the same things or the same things that are actually hurting your chances of finding and keeping love because you're starting to do the exact same things. Granted, your friends actually stick around because they don't have that emotional attachment and you're usually not sleeping or having sex with your friends so they can forgive you a lot more. And, the, and, and you have moments where you let down your guard a lot easier and even a lot more frequent with your friends than you do with your significant other, especially when you get put in these stressful, um, anxious uh, moments where you are fearful. So just think about it. What will you do differently? Can you pinpoint where that fear is coming from? Because that is going to ultimately change your relationship with yourself, but also with your partner. I'll see you guys in a future video. Deuces.